It's that time of the week again where we get to talk about brand new VR games coming out this week, games coming out next week, and of course some of that juicy juicy VR gaming news. Before we dive into this, we are on a road to 50k, so smash and subscribe would be massively appreciated. And of course, hitting that like button does help support the videos as well. But now, let's dive into new games this week. Let's kick this off with Hello Cruel World. Now, unfortunately, I did play this game, and I say that because, well, this just was not a great VR game, in my opinion. It's advertised as this sort of horror game, and unfortunately, it really doesn't peak that for me. It was more of really a puzzle game at best, uh, and although this is advertised as a VR game, it felt like it was missing some very key features that normally you would find inside of a VR game. Now, I'm not gonna go too deep on this, but I am gonna say that I don't think this was that great. Also, there's a streamer function that is in this as well, which sort of like gives you this sort of fake chat because you're playing as a streamer in the game and yeah it adds absolutely almost zero value to the entire game other than having it there so I, I just honestly they really missed the mark for me on this one it's a bit of a, one of those like probably should have been a flat game kind of games and honestly it just didn't land for me as a VR game so let me know what your thoughts and opinions are if you've played it down below other than that though guys I've got to say I was kind of disappointed by this one probably a bit of a leave it if I'm being honest next up is Zero Calibre 2 now I made a video on this and you can find this on my channel so if you want to see a full early look at this then please do but now I'm able to give you an actual review of this so let's dive into a bit of a review of Zero Calibre 2. This for me is great. I actually think they did a fantastic job of this and don't get me wrong of course the graphically it's not the best looking game you'll ever see in your entire life but it does look good enough for what a quest game should be. The game models themselves I think look incredible, the body model looks pretty decent as well and honestly the character models look pretty good. The environment lets it down here and there but honestly overall you really really don't notice it once you get into the action and you start playing. Uh, the breaching in this game felt phenomenal, the missions felt really good. Uh, honestly, I just give this like a straight sort of like probably like a seven and a half out of ten. This is a good game. If you're looking for something to really get your teeth into and burn some hours in, this is going to be it. And if you're just looking to be that sort of action hero sort of army vibe, then you're really going to enjoy yourself in this. It has a lot more to offer than what I'm just talking about in today's sort of review of this. So I highly recommend you go and watch like an in-depth review on this, or I would highly recommend you pick this game up because honestly, I had an absolute blast in it and I think you will too if you like this type of game. They actually kind of smashed it with this one. So Zero Gallop 2 is definitely a pick up. Last on the games that came out this week is Tomb Explorer VR. Now this is one I really wanted to check out because it's quite an indie-ish game. It's PC VR only at the moment. Um, but nonetheless, I wanted to try this out for myself. I dived into this experience and I've got to say it does have a little bit of like jank to it. But in general, this is actually a really fun game that you get to lose yourself in for quite some time. Now I haven't completed it. So I can't give you a full review, but I can tell you that the time I've spent in it so far around a couple, I think around two hours I've spent so far, it's actually been really good fun the entire way through it so far. So like I say, while it does have some definite jank, I would prepare for that and maybe wait for a sale for this. But nonetheless, it's definitely one to check out. VR Game News. Well, this is where things get a little bit interesting because we've had quite a bit of VR gaming news this week. So let's kick it off with a short one. But one to pay attention to is Ghost of Tabor has just dropped a bunch of new guns into their game as well as a brand new Quest 3 update, making it look even better on the Quest 3. So if you're playing Ghost of Tabor on the Quest, this is one to pay attention to because like I say, it's actually upgraded it, making it look better, giving you a much more stable FPS as well, whether you're on Quest 2 or 3. So something to note and a bunch of extra guns and cool things. So if you're into your Ghost of Tabor, no. Yes, it's a good time. Next up, Alien Rogue Incursion. We finally got to see some more gameplay of this. Well, gameplay, it kind of still looks like it's probably sort of like recording in the studio, but nonetheless, this does actually show off a little bit more about what this game is and what we can expect from it. And I will say, I'm actually way more excited for this after seeing this trailer. I just kind of wish they had never released the other one that was like a low frame rate because it made it look bad. But nonetheless, this one looks really interesting. So in this now, we know what's going to be happening and the way this is going to look. And honestly, I'm pretty damn excited about this game. It's one of those ones that I'm getting actually steadily more excited about the more we see opposed to getting really hyped at the beginning because at the beginning I was kind of like Meh. but now I'm kind of like actually getting excited for this game so I really hope that they deliver on this of course don't get your expectations up until we can get our reviews out on this type of thing because as we all know sometimes things look really good and then you get to play them and they ain't so good so keep your eyes peeled on the channel because hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, speak about this some more soon next up is Arcan Age is going to be hopefully making its way to PSVR 2 and PCVR very soon soon. Now if you aren't familiar with what this game is, this is one to seriously keep an eye out on. Not only does it look aesthetically beautiful, but this is an, a proper like MMORPG type game where you're going to get in there and spend a whole bunch of time fighting, looting, doing all the cool missions and just losing yourself in it to four 
hours. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out for myself. It looks really cool. It's got a very bunch, like it's got like a ton of unique enemies looking in this trailer. It's some really good sort of combat looking stuff in there as well, where you can like decapitate properly, actually like stab uh, and unique attacks depending on what type of enemy you're going to be fighting in this. Honestly, it just looks like a really cool looking game. I'm very excited to try this one out. Again, I don't like to overhype things, but for me, this is looking like it's going to be an absolute banger. I can't wait to try it for myself. And like I say, this is a good time for you PSVR 2 users, which I know just got a big bump after they reduced the uh, price of the PSVR 2. So welcome, and this is one to look out for. Living Room MR. Well, you all know that I've got a bit of a soft spot for mixed reality, and this one caught my eye. Uh, now, this isn't particularly my kind of game, but I did want to address it for you guys and girls. This one, you're going to be able to turn your room into like an animal sanctuary, essentially turning your sofa, your tables, whatever you have in your lounge or office or wherever you're going to be playing this into a farm where you're going to be able to look after the animals. They're going to do fun things. There's going to be little tasks and all sorts of things. So it just looked kind of interesting to me. Like I say, it's not particularly my kind of title, but I do want to address it because it just looks kind of interesting. This is going to be coming out later this year. So keep your eyes peeled. Next up, we got our first look at Tier 1. Tier 1 is a brand new game coming from some of the developers from things like Onward. Uh, they've come together, like some seriously talented people, to make this game. Now, they have just launched a Kickstarter. I personally don't really endorse Kickstarters that often because, well, I've personally been burnt quite a few times by Kickstarters, but I do think it's one to keep an eye on. And at the end of the day, if you want to support it, then go for it. Uh, I'm sure they could do with the help. But I wanted to address this anyway because it still looks like a really cool game. Now, the footage that we've seen of this makes it pretty much look like, your, you know, a one-for-one -one army simulator type experience where you're going to get in there and have a proper solid experience in this type of simulator like game so i'm looking forward to trying this out for myself of course it looks badass so uh well we'll see you in the future coming up next week Next week, Arcade Paradise VR is going to be making its way to the PSVR 2. This is one to pay attention to, in my opinion. I really love this game. Uh, in this, you're going to play as someone who takes over essentially like a washing machine shop, uh, but you'll actually be turning it into an arcade in the back, slowly but surely. So as you earn money, you're going to be buying new machines and turning the arcade into an absolute badass spot for people to come and visit, and you'll earn money through doing these things. This is actually a really cool one because you get to play a ton of retro arcade games, and of course, it's just like really for any 80 90s and early 2000s kid is going to find some freaking cool nostalgia in this so definitely want to keep an eye out for if you have psvr2 next up astro hunters is making its way to pc vr as well next week and this is a pvpve experience where you're going to go in on various different planets kill extract and do some cool things along the way honestly i've jumped into this played it myself it's pretty cool i'm looking forward to this making its way to quest as i think that's probably going to be the platform it truly shines on just because the audience is there uh, but nonetheless it's coming out on pc vr so make sure you check that one out the Burst, which is essentially like Stride mixed with The Wastelands. Um, basically, in this one, you're going to be able to park or zip line around and do a bunch of cool things, as well as a ton of cool action and shooting and a dope little story to go with it. Now, I've actually tried this one early, and it's an absolute banger. Uh, definitely one to keep your eyes out on. The devs have done a good job with this. They held it off a couple of times to improve the game, and it's definitely shining through. So make sure you check this one out when it drops next week. I'll probably cover this. If you're interested, let me know in the comments down below. Yes, cover this please, Reese. And last up is On Point. This is another one of those type of light gun shooter games. Uh, honestly, I feel like we've seen way too many of these, but you know, I wanted to highlight it nonetheless as it is coming out. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for something to spend some time in, then this could be the game for you. Uh, of course, you know, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying we've seen so many games like this coming out that it kind of makes it hard sometimes to recommend them as they are so many of them. But maybe this one has something super unique about it. I will try it myself. And of course, I will let you know next week whether this is a leave it or a buy it. Other than that, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I feel like we've had a pretty chock-a-block video of some cool stuff. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be playing this weekend and what out of this list has interested you. Other than that, guys, like I say, Road to 50k, would love it if you'd subscribe. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later. Bye!